Right, hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Today we're going to be learning about subnetting IPv4 addressing. Let me just contact two people to help. Right, they're connected. Right, you two. I require your assistance in how to teach subnetting. No. Just no. Oh, damn. Uh, so a little explanation of exactly what subnetting is, is required. Subnetting is basically the process of splitting up larger network address space into smaller space to make more efficient utilization so we can give birth to things like the internet. It was a problem encountered in the early 90s because when the internet came around before that it was only really academic government and that that really used the so-called the network that the internet is now built into. IP address board had already come out of IPv6 so they weren't big fans of subnetting when someone came up with that. But it basically involves splitting the standard network host configuration into variable length su subnetting or VLSM. This means that we can basically dedicate to our heart's content what our subnet so we can have a nice large network portion and a tiny host portion literally consisting of two hosts. This is useful for point to point links aka one device linked to another. This is used on serial links on routers. Yes I'm using an old sock. Here comes the problem of exactly how it's done. To do this you need to know binary and a network address is 32 bit divided into four octets which is basically split into four sections with a point in between it and you have your number, whatever it may be. You get different types of IP addresses, private addresses, and public addresses, but we're not gonna go into that here, we're gonna go into subnetting them. Now with the old standard conventions, you had it split up into A, which is, this is the network portion, B, which is, this is your network portion, and the rest is host, and the very commonly used C, which is this used as your network portion and this is your host and also with C you can fill in as much of the network portion as you need for the host as long as you have the minimum two hosts required or your network isn't going to be of much use so this time we're going to have a network this network will be your good old router linked to the internet which is the cloud thing and of course we have we're focusing on LAN 0 not any of the other LANs which could be configured on other router interface and on this particular LAN 0 we want 50 hosts because we're going to have a department of about 50 and there isn't any real need for expansion in this case because this is built, being built into a listed building. Now of course it's worth to do all the slash variations from 24 and upwards. Each octet is essentially a byte, 8 bit. Depending on how many ones there are depends on what the slash is. So slash 24 is 24 ones. 25 is 25 one. Wherever there's ones, that is the hot portion of the network. Down here we have done the binary value is in decimal. 24 is 0, 25 is 1 to 8. So how many zeros slash 26? There are six zeros. So we do 2 to the power of, which is 6. So we've got 64 hosts per subnet. Should we work out how many subnets there are in total? Well this time we take the network portion, but only of this particular 8 bit. 2 to the power of 2. 4 separate subnets. So first I like to do a box. At the bottom here we have 0 which is our network and at the top here we have 64. Now below that is 63 which is the broadcast for that particular subnet. So the values we can use to put into a router or a computer config would be from 1 to 62. To go up, 64 is now the broadcast address of subnet 2. And then what we do is we add 64, 64, and we get 128, which goes here, like that. The broadcast of that network will be 127, and we can use from that subnet 5 to 126. 255, 255, 255, 192. And that is the basics of how to submit.